45 years after a radio reporter was gunned down inside the Wilson building, one of his colleagues still feels the pain and harbors some guilt for what happened. Kojo Namdi and Maurice Williams were both working at WHUR back in 1977. A group of Hanafi Muslims stormed the building, killing Williams and three others. The story may have ended differently for Williams had Kojo agreed to a simpler request. Paul Wagner has the story that you'll see only on four. Last Friday, I picked up the phone and called Kojo with some news. The man who had killed Maurice Williams and wounded then D.C. Council member Marion Barry had been released from prison. The memories came floating back. Kojo, the longtime host at WAMU, told me a story that haunts him to this day. A story until now he's only told in private. Kojo said that day he had arranged to go to lunch with another reporter. And as we were leaving the press office, Maurice, as usual, said, can I come? And we were like, no, 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 these are for the big boys. You have to get a little older before you can go to lunch with us. And he go like, oh, man, this is always happening to me. No more than an hour later, leaving the restaurant, Kojo saw the commotion at the building and raced back to WHUR, where the phone was already ringing. Another reporter gave him the news. People have taken over the fifth floor of the district building. There's been shooting, and I saw Maurice lying in the hallway outside the press room. He said he's lying there, and there are bullet holes in his sweater, but he's not moving. Maurice Williams had just stepped out of the elevator with Marion Barry when he was shot. It was one of the worst days of our lives. The Hanafi Muslims seized three buildings that day and took more than 140 hostages. Their leader, Hamas Abdul Khalid, wanted to bring attention to the murder of his family back in 1973. Maurice Williams was just 24 years old. He had just graduated from Howard University. The press room inside the Wilson building is now named in his honor. Even today, the horror of it all still causes me feelings of pain and anxiety. And when we look back on it, we said, you know, the smallest things in life can make the biggest differences in life. Had he just come to lunch with us, none of this would have probably happened. The killer, Abdul Musiker, now 67, was given a compassionate release from prison in April. Kojo says he's okay with it. The man has served his time. In the district, Paul Wagner, News 4.